from Utah. All they found was her body. To Idaho. She'd been stabbed like 14 times. To Florida. By 7 in the morning, they find her body in the backyard. Hundreds of unsolved cases, some years old, get answers. And guilty pleas, all because of this machine and its ability to test DNA. See how fast I'm going? You're definitely not going to use this on every case. And our mantra is if you can see it like a blood spatter or a semen stain or something like that, you don't need the MBAC. You know, it's, it's in all those other scenarios where you can't see it or you can't get to it using the traditional method. I first heard about the MVAC system because of one of those scenarios. In a February interview, civilian investigative specialist Mary Doncourt with the Brunswick County Sheriff's Office explained the MVAC system, wanting to use it in the Jay Potter Mintz murder from 1987. There is a new system out now called MVAC. And basically what MVAC does is it's, it's a giant vacuum cleaner. They wet down the piece and it just sucks everything up. So it pulls out far more DNA than the old method of just swabbing would do. Yeah. Soon after, MVAC CEO Jared Bradley was in the Wilmington area and gave us a demonstration. It creates like a little mini hurricane down on there in the surface. You can see it spraying down there and it just vacuums up just like a carpet cleaner would. That demonstration aired on Unsolved in April, catching the eye of Brunswick County Sheriff John Ingram. We look for technology that will allow us to uh, better investigate crimes. And when you uh, ran a story about it, it actually brought it to my attention and we started looking into it. Two months later, uh, and now the Brunswick County it? Sheriff's Office is one of only 40 agencies in the U.S with an MVAC system. In one of three in North Carolina, I think that's, um, we're very fortunate. Brunswick County's uh, cutting edge. You know, they're, they're uh, putting their money literally where their mouth is. They want to help, they want to solve crime. Bradley says it only takes one day to train four detectives how to use it. So your actual effective sampling area is like right there. Sampling all kinds of material from rope to bricks and rocks to a baseball bat. And after a few hours of practice, these guys want to actually do some evidence, which is ideal because I can stand here and watch them. They put the new device to work on an unsolved case. Every time I do a training, I, I'm more and more impressed with people that are in law enforcement. You know, it's amazing how much they care, how much they actually want to help solve the crime and therefore serve their community. That's exactly why Sheriff Ingram says they took this step. You know, when you make decisions on purchasing equipment and, and what the needs are of an agency, this was something that we put at the top of the list. Hoping to make the list of unsolved cases shorter. But we believe that this is extremely important in being able to uh, investigate these cases, especially the unsolved cases, and hopefully um, be able to make the connection, get a profile on the individuals responsible and bring them to justice. Serving the community one DNA test at a time.